Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. In this video I'm going to talk about how to find the distance between two points using the Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, now when we talk about distance, distance is the length between two points. Uh, now just to, to hope, remind you that distance should always be a positive value. You should never have a negative distance. Uh, for example, uh, I live in Dallas and I went to school in Austin. Uh, if I were to uh, find the distance between Dallas and Austin, it's about 200 miles. Not a negative 200 miles, a positive 200 miles. And so your answer should always be positive for distance. Now this is finding the distance between two points using the Pythagorean Theorem. This is the Pythagorean Theorem. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Hopefully you're a little familiar with it, and if you are, it'll make this, uh, these kind of problems a little bit easier. Uh, but remember, we can only use uh, Pythagorean Theorem if we have a right triangle. And so we're going to end up plotting these two points on a graph. And then from that, we're going to make a right triangle. And from that, we're going to plug values into the Pythagorean Theorem to solve the problem. Uh, now, if you do not have a graph, you cannot really use Pythagorean Theorem, as far as I know. Uh, and so you're going to, we'd have to default to use the distance formula, which is d equals the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And if you're not familiar with that equation, I've got a video on my website, dowshouse.com. Look into the first six weeks worth of videos, and you'll see a video called Distance, Distance Formula. And watch that video and it'll help you solve it. Uh, but we're going to have graphs in this pro uh, on these uh, example problems I'm going to do. And so we're going to be able to follow these five steps. And if we follow these five steps, uh, we can find the distance between two points. And so let's jump into the first example. It says find the distance between, uh, we have a negative 3, negative 2, and a 5, 8. And again, this is finding the distance using Pythagorean Theorem. So I'm going to look at the first step here. It says uh, plot the coordinates for both points. I have a negative 3, negative 2. Uh, and so let's plot a negative 3, negative 2. And then we have a 5, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so my goal is to find the distance between these two points. Uh, and so to do that, we need to now connect the plotted points. And we're going to end up calling that side C. Uh, and so let's connect these two points. Hopefully I do a straight line here, not too bad. I'm going to call this C, and this C is going to be this C in the equation. Uh, and so we're, we're slowly building something up to, the, to use in this equation. Now we're going to create a right triangle. Uh, now I could either go straight up and over to create a right triangle, or I could go across and then up. Either way, we're going to get a right triangle, and we're going to get the same numbers. And so you can go either direction here. You're going to get uh, the same answer uh, for the problem. And so I happen to like to go up and over. So I'm going to go up from here. Now I'm going to go up until I am at the same height as this point right here. So I went up here. And then from there, I'm going to go straight over. And if we look, these two sides here that I have in blue and green end up making a right angle. And so since I have a right angle, I've got three sides. This is now a right triangle. Uh, and so we've created this right triangle. Now count the lengths of the two legs, A and B. When I'm talking about the two legs, uh, this side here that's in red is the hypotenuse. It's the longest side on the right triangle. The two sides that are not the longest side are going to be called legs. And I'm going to call one of the legs side A, or leg A. And then I'm going to call this green side here uh, side uh, B, or, or leg B. And that's going to be the A and the B right here in this equation. And so we're going to figure out the lengths of those two legs by counting the units. And if I look here, if I count from uh, this bottom portion to the top, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units. So A is 10 units long. And then B is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units long. And so I now have enough information to plug these numbers, 10 and 8, into this equation for A and B. And then I can solve the problem, and I'll be done with, with the problem here. Step 5 says to plug A and B into the equation to find C and solve. So I need to write down the equation here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I recommend doing this. Now I'm going to plug in uh, 10 for A. I'm going to plug in uh, 8 for B. And then I'm just going to solve it. And we will get our answer here. So 10 squared is 100. That's 10 times 10. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. That equals c squared. Well, 100 plus 64 is 164. And that equals c squared. Uh, am I done? Nope, not quite yet. My goal is to solve for c. And to get c by itself here, I've got to cancel out the square sign, or the square symbol. So what's the opposite of squaring something? That is square rooting something. And so I'm going to square root both sides here. And when I square root, 
uh, 164, I get 12.81 if I'm rounding to the nearest hundredths. And so 12.81 is going to be my answer here. Uh, and so that is the distance between these two points here that we have on the problem. So the distance between this location and this location is 12.81 units. Uh, and so there we go. Now if you did see my video under uh, the distance formula, uh, you're going to see some similarities in it, but this just seems so much easier to me. There's no negative signs, it, it just seems easier to me. Uh, anyways, moving on to the, the next example I have. Uh, find the distance between 5, 1 and a negative 2, 4. So I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1. So keep in mind I'm following the first step here. Now I'm going to go back 2, up 4, back 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4. And so uh, that's uh, plotted both points. Now let's connect the plotted points, and we're going to call that side C. So I'm going to call this guy side C here. Again, that is this guy right here. Now we're going to create the right triangle. Uh, I'm going to go down and over in this case. So I'm going to go down until I'm even with this bottom side here. Now I'm going to go straight over. And remember, these two sides here, these two legs, create the right angle, which makes this a right triangle. And so I've done step three, step four. Uh, let's count the lengths of the two legs A and B. So let me call this uh, the blue side here A and the green side here I'm going to call it B. And what is the length of side B or sorry, side A? One, two, three. So A is three in this case. What is the length of side B? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So B is seven. And then I'm going to plug these two numbers into the equation here and I'm going to solve for C. And so remember, I'm going to write down the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I don't have that on the steps, but I probably should have. Uh, a is 3 in this case. b is 7 in this case. And let's keep solving. 3 squared is 9. 7 squared is 49. That equals c squared. 9 plus 49 gives me 58 and that equals c squared. Now if I square root both sides that will get me c by itself. What is the square root of 58? It's 7.62 and that is the distance uh, between these two locations here. Uh, and so if you are, did see my video uh, under uh, the distance formula you will see that on these two examples I have the same coordinates and so if you look at that video I solved the same problem using the same coordinates here using the distance formula I still ended up with the same answer of 7.62 and on the first example I still use these same coordinates and I get the same answer right here using the Pythagorean theorem and so uh, ultimately what I want you to understand is if you uh, find the distance between two points you can either use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem and hopefully this helps you understand how to find uh, the distance between two points. I uh, hope you have a good day and talk to you later. Bye-bye.